Hi, my name is Tim for the and um, today I'm at Infian Rain Warden in St. Mary CBS. So, what is the positives and negatives of being a jump? Um, the positives is it's very enjoyable, yeah. and luckily for me, um, I suppose when you're growing up as a as a kid, um, some people want to be firemen, guards, you know, and later on in life, that's not the road to go down. But thankfully, I always wanted to be a jockey, yeah. and that's the route I took, and I was able to continue it, and I enjoyed it very much. If you don't mind, can I ask you about the fall on Sanio Antonio? Yeah, um, I don't remember much of it, but um, unfortunately, um, the horse got injured, so that wasn't that wasn't nice. Um, I'm after a bit of an injury, so I'm still out with it at the moment. Um, so I have a few more tests to do, and hopefully we'll get back soon. You ever met any famous people in the ring? Um, you would meet some famous people. Um, tis, tis, tis a hard one, but um, no, look, race racing is a great game to bring. Yeah. people together and you always meet some people and you'd only shake their hand for a minute or so but you'd move on yeah. um but yeah i've met some some good people do you like royal ascot or the cora oh the cora was always my favorite track and yeah. it still is um but i suppose royal ascot is a magical place um and i suppose for some people it's like um cheltenham or something like that but um to get rides there is Excellent, and if you can ride a winner, it's something goes on your CV. Do you do flat racing or jumping? Flat racing. Um, my, I'm, I'm small and I'm light, so jumping is not something that I'm interested in. If, what is your biggest winner so far? Um, I was lucky that I'm after riding several Group 1 winners, but one winner I suppose that stands out is um, Iridesa at the Breeders' Cup. It's a massive place. Everybody focuses um, to go there at the end of the year if they have a horse good enough. And I got the opportunity to ride her for um, Joseph, and she won. So to ride a Breeders' Cup winner, um, it's it's pretty special. Uh, what, when, when do you think you will look to retire? I don't know. Um, no. I haven't thought about it, and I don't want to think about it. Um, I, I'm still enjoying it. Once you're enjoying your work, um, and you're given 100%, I think you should continue to do that. And when you start not enjoying it, I think it's time for you to go. Um, so I'm still enjoying it and I'm going to keep going for as long as I can. What was your best advice you ever got when you was a jockey? Oh, I suppose listening, listening is, is a good thing. You know, um, I, I'm someone that doesn't really, I just say what I have to say and keep my head down. Um, and I just do my work and listen to people that are older than me, that are longer in the game than me. And you learn something new every single day. When do you not wait if you go out to the, go out on the, like, if you go racing for, like, practice? Like, how long do you do that for? Um, so each horse usually goes out for over an hour. Oh. Um, so they get a nice exercise and they get walked around after and they get a pick of grass and they're allowed to have a roll and stuff like that. Oh. And then they go in and then we continue. So usually my morning starts, um, I usually get up at quarter past six and I'd ride four lots and you'd be finished for kind of half twelve. And then you might have to go racing then after lunch, then evening meeting. So they're long days, but it's good time of the year because it's summertime. What, what was your worst horse so far? Um, I don't know. You meet different characters yeah. and I mightn't like them, but you could get on with them. And that's the nature of horse racing. horse racing. And even with people, I might like someone and you mightn't like them. It's just a way of life. So you just you just find people mm -hmm. or, or horses that you'd like. Not way if the horses go into the, the thing to like go, like some horses, not we'd have to cover them to bring them into like the into the ring, like the race. Or the stalls. Yeah. yeah. When, like, any of your horses ever got stressed like that? Yeah, some of them do. Um, some of them do. And some of them go in there and it, it, the, the space is it's small in there. There's not much room. Oh. And you might have a horse that's maybe two, two stalls down for you that might act up oh. and might just frighten your lad. Oh. And your fella might act up because of that. 
But some horses then are a bit claustrophobic or something like that. Do you, do you know how to, they press? They, do they press a button to release it? Yes, so oh. the starter stands on a podium and it's all plugged in. I'm not really sure the whole system, but yeah. um, he asks us, are we ready? And then he pressed the button and the gates pop open. And, so, and sometimes it doesn't, like sometimes, sometimes it's a bad start and then they have to start the whole thing again. Yeah, sometimes each each front door has to open at the same time. Oh. So down the track, maybe about half a furlong, there's a man with a flag. Yeah. And if the starter drops his flag, he drops his flag and that means the race is off. But if the starter can see that some gate didn't open, he'll keep his flag up and that man will keep his flag up and then all the jockeys can see him and we'll, everybody will stop because we know there's a problem. Thank you for joining me. No problem, any time at all. Follow Little Bit Tip on Spotify or watch on YouTube.